Hey everybody, so this week, um, you know, I came back to Montana and the girls are with Chris and Joey. And again, here's the porch finished. Um, we put on some more lattice work and then we're trying putting some ground cover in. And I'll show you the lattice work on the sides. <clears throat> we also just planted um, another daylily with the one that was existing. And then we put in some Shasta daisies and then some other um some lavender and then over here some hosta lilies so again we're working on the this bed when me and the girls will be back in um for the summertime for the long summer then we will be able to we're going to plant some more so here again we put lattice work and our goal is to put maybe some jasmine or something like that and then we just planted some more of these these are montana native um, plants i think this one's called a blanket plant and then we have i forgot this is the type of daisy but very beautiful and then again the others that we planted the other day and see we still have plenty of room to add more but you know i gotta get the girls's opinion on what else we need and now we're just coming down the side and let's come back and let's uh, look at some more plants so we're here in the backyard now and I want you to see the tomatoes that uh, Mark planted. He planted these um, back around May. Right now it's almost the 4th of July and you see when I come back for the end of summer break it's going to really be beautiful. We planted some strawberries there. Oh, they're not doing too much right now but that's okay. And then our back door and then these are all flowers. So we would decide we want to do flowers um, over here. So most of these are little wildflowers and, you know, just annuals and uh, just a different variety of the Montana wildflowers. Okay, so this is our sh what we call the shady garden. Okay, as you can tell, it's nice and shady. And these are some um, flowers. I think Mark bought, um, these are those little tiny miniature roses that start off as just in a you know, just really small, like can fit in your hand, you know, like that. And so we, I decided to plant them um, right before it got um, really cold. And Mark's like, oh, it's gonna kill them. Y'all look, that thing's twice the size it was when he gave it to me last year. Now this row, this is another rose, um, and I see the comparison. So this is a regular size rose that he gave to my mom before she passed. And so we planted it out here. Over here we have pumpkins. And I want y'all to see, look at that little baby pumpkin on there. So we've got pumpkins, so we're gonna, last year we did watermelon and they were absolutely delicious. So we thought this year we would try to go with something a little different. So we're gonna have tons and tons of pumpkin to give out to everybody. If you can see right there. Okay, so those were pumpkins. And here we are doing, uh, zucchini so you guys can see the little zucchini right there so this one's zucchini oh my goodness oh my goodness gracious y'all look oh my god we have a huge there's a oh let me get all up in here now oh my goodness look we have one two three four oh wow y'all oh i'm so happy okay so we've got like four big giant zucchinis and then some babies Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, oh, and then we have this volunteer tree. We were going to buy a big tree to put like in the middle of the yard for the girls so they can lay in the sun, but you can see there's a lot of shade. So we decided to let this one take it as a volunteer and let it grow, and it's another uh, traditional Montana uh, tree. I'm so excited, you guys. I think I'm going to make some zucchini bread. Oh, I cannot wait. Garage is what we're working on now. We've already did a big roof repair, and now we're going to uh, just revamp our, the garage. So that's my next project. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday.